everyone, it's Liz, the Frugal Libertarian. And I hadn't done anything about stores and Dollar Tree in a while, so I figured I would do a kind of the opposite of a video I did previously, which was the name brand products you can find at Dollar Tree and get them for just a dollar. I wanted to show you some of the products that Dollar Tree carries in their house brands, so the generics, that are so fantastic. They are worth just going to Dollar Tree and ignoring other stores and just getting them for a dollar. I actually have a giant bucket full of these products. We were also out of a lot of things that we get from Dollar Tree as generics. So, um, yeah, I went a little bit nuttier than normal because of that. So I'm just going to start with the bucket. Um, if you are somebody who either doesn't have a cleaning bucket at home or has one that broke, which is my situation, um, we had one. It was perched on our staircase down to our basement. It got knocked over and cracked right in half and became useless at that point. So I was looking for a bucket anyway. And they, Dollar Tree, I mean, why would you spend more than a dollar for a bucket? I wouldn't. And it has a pouring spout so that when you're scrubbing floors or whatever you're doing with it, you can pour the water out of it afterwards. And it's a dollar. And this doesn't even have a brand. It just says their company name on the bottom uh, near the barcode. One of the things I've talked about in other videos is getting batteries at Dollar Tree. The white and red ones are, mm, they're good if you've got something that doesn't require a lot of energy and doesn't get used very often. Um, I know there are specific types of electronics that can't take a higher drain battery, like an actual name brand battery will destroy them. That's when you should get something like that. The red, black, and gold are really good for things like kids' toys and higher drain electronics. They also have Panasonic now, but again, that's an actual brand. So I was just gonna give you the Sunbeam, which is the Dollar Tree brand, and show you. And we were actually out of AAA and AA anyway, so I actually grabbed more than just these. One of the things I do with my neurological condition when the pain is really bad, I ice my nerve. So to that end, Dollar Tree's assured children's ice packs. Dollar Tree usually has these over by like the baby area. They have different shapes. For some reason, these animal shaped ones are like perfect for icing my nerve. You can throw them in the freezer. You can put them in the fridge if you don't want them cold. One of the things that's really, really great about them coming out of the freezer is that they have a very quick melting temperature. So once you apply it to your skin, it only stays cold for about 20 minutes. You really don't want to put ice on your skin for a long period of time because you'll actually do more damage. I can fall asleep with one of these on my nerve and I will be fine because it will be my skin temperature in an amount of time that I don't have to worry about it. And I just, I love them. The only bad part is, is that they eventually, which is true of any ice pack that you're throwing in the freezer, the plastic, rubbery plastic that's around it will eventually crack. Um, and then the beads, the gel will come out. But for a dollar, you can grab a new one and replace it. And it works just fine. Petroleum jelly, which is also kept in their baby section. It's a tiny jar, I'll give you that. But honestly, it's one item. I mean, it's one ingredient. It's only petroleum jelly. What are you gonna do? Why do you have to go out and buy a ton of, spend a ton of money for actual name brand Vaseline when you can get the personal care label, and I think they also have Assured as well, from Dollar Tree for a dollar. And again, yes, that's a smaller jar, but you get a couple of them and then you've got more product than you would if you paid, got them from Vaseline. I know that going to Target or Walmart and getting Vaseline brand, even little jars like this are way over a dollar. So their brand, perfectly good. Shower caps. If you're someone like me who does your hair and then you don't want it to get destroyed, you use a shower cap. You're getting eight of these in a package. They also have other colors and their brand is April Bath and Shower. 
who knows it's just their Greenbrier brand but for eight for a dollar is a really good price for plastic shower caps and then if they stretch out or they get a hole you don't care if you throw them away likewise their April showers bath sponge the little bath poof um, which my husband took a key from the TV show The Vacant Lot and we'll call this a douche because blinded by the light ripped up like a douche oh what was the second half of the guy saying it wrong I can't remember it now but he loves these and a dollar again these are a lot more expensive in other stores it's their brand it's the same identical product it's mesh tied together with a string no need to go and spend a ton of money on it same thing with cotton swabs there are 250 in here and if you notice specifically i've gotten the ones that are white they have a white cardboard um stick i want to say in them uh these are a little bit stronger you can get the plastic stick ones and you can get more of them in a package it's a bigger package but they're not as strong they bend like super easy and it drives my husband nuts we we're actually almost out of these again so that's why i grabbed it vincenzo will show you something in a minute they're a dollar again something that's a lot more money in other places same thing they're assured cotton balls and cotton rounds i use cotton rounds to take my makeup off i use cotton balls in other places and for a dollar for these and again they're assured brand it's their green briar brand and they're awesome likewise you can get grooming instruments this is emery boards their generic line is sassy and chic and same thing with a little nail buffer um they also have like nail polish remover all sorts of nail products nail products are one of those things that you can spend less money on and still use them and they'll be great so it's something you can go and get there instead of going you know to walmart or target and spending a lot more money on it but their sassy and chic line um, of products like that is actually pretty good some of the office supplies that they carry are really really good and some of them are lackluster most of the items you get from their generic line jot are good and they can be cute like a little dude behind me i got these these are pencil sharpeners and they look like tiny owls and i just thought they were so cute so i had to get those binder rings i actually use these in my embroidery box um to keep the thread that i'm working with all together for that piece and i only had two in there so i thought eight i can use those and then i got this one which is also another one of their brands and it's ink these are mechanical pencils i go through a lot of mechanical pencils with my music so i figured i would get these and try them out and see if this brand was as good as jot or not this is the first time i've used them um but again a dollar for six mechanical pencils is a really good price we buy almost all of our dogs toys at dollar tree and for good reason <laughs> we have an 85 pound american bulldog you sometimes see him wandering around behind me and he destroys toys destroys them and not even like we've gone out to the pet store and spent lots of money on toys that they promise are indestructible we get them home and it's destroyed within a week so at some point we just said forget it we're not doing this anymore and we only go to dollar tree to get him toys because again i swear i give this to him in about before i'm done with this video this thing will be in pieces but at least he's entertained for a little bit of time and that's all i want out of a dog toy is make him feel happy make him feel you know special because he's getting something new to play with and then when he destroys it i won't have lost money destroying it a dollar is worth my dog's happiness to me their sure fresh line of food containers and other food related organization are pretty good um i haven't had any complaints personally with me using them i know some other people don't necessarily like them um i got these little cups there's three of them in the package because they have a little lid and i thought these would be good for my son taking snacks out of the house you know things like cut up grapes or um, raisins or whatever if I'm taking it out of a big canister or a big container I can put them in this and we can take them out because my son will not drop a cup with food in it oh dear lord 
<laughs> my son is such an eater he will never part with food willingly um in the house not so much because the second he the dog gets the chance the dog will just eat out of it but for leaving the house awesome they're little teeny cups and likewise when you're looking at cleaning their scrub buddies line is really good for cleaning products i love their 10 pack of latex gloves because i we use them for different things i use them when i'm oiling eggs um i will put them on when i'm cleaning our bathroom so i can just throw them out afterwards and 10 of them for a dollar is a really good price um and they are excellent gloves i've never had one tear on me i've never had any issues with it I know they have other ones that are like more of a filmy plastic, almost like the plastic glove you get in the really inexpensive hair dye. I will actually, I, as I say, when I've dyed my hair at home and they give me those kinds of like really thin papery gloves, I will pull these out and use these instead because they're that good. I got these two-ended scrubbing sponges. It's a regular sponge on the back and a scrubber on the front. Sponges to me are just sponges. There's nothing really special about it it's cellulose you know who who cares <laughs> um if you're spending a ton of money on it or if you're not so i grabbed these we actually didn't have any sponges in our house so i figured scrub scrub buddies is actually a really good brand and that leads me to probably the best of the cleaning products they make by the way i had a scrubbing brush my son took it and disappeared with it but there is a scrub buddies their brushes are actually pretty good like the dish brushes and the scrubbers those are really good too but the most probably famous of the scrub buddies brand is their quick erasers these are basically the same thing as their mr clean magic eraser and it does the same job except it's a dollar you get two of them which is a lot cheaper than the mr clean ones and my trick to these is to cut them. I cut mine into quarters, even if you cut them into halves, because in my experience, the edges will get dirty and the center never gets used. So if I cut them into quarters, I will use the whole thing and I get more use out of them. And the last thing I grabbed is from their essentials line. This is their, um, like they have closet products, they have little bins and things. Fabric bins are actually really good quality too. But I got the extra sticky hair remover because we have two cats and a dog. <laughs> and that dog sheds more than any animal I've ever had in my life. So I grabbed that. These again, it's a lint roller. It doesn't need to be special. It just needs to do its job. So the name on it doesn't really matter to me. That was the bucket of generic Dollar Tree products. Have you used these and loved them, used them and hated them? Are there other lines that are the generic lines that I missed that you could tell me about? So I'll go check them out. Let me know in the comments. Let me know too if brand names are really important to you because that's something I'm always curious about. I find that even with myself, there are certain times when brand names are like really, really important to me. Um, and other times when I'm sort of, eh, I don't really care if it's got a name attached to it or not. I just want it. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will talk to you soon.